Hi everyone. Let us see the four is to one multiplexer concept in digital system design. So four is to one multiplexer. So it is a combinational circuit. So in digital system we have a two classification: combinational circuit and sequential circuit. So under combinational circuit uh, we are going to see about uh, four is to one multiplexer. So normally multiplexer is called as many to one circuit. So many to one is the meaning of many inputs, only one outputs. So this is the main concept behind this four is to one multiplexer. So the data can be selected as an output. So based on the selection line input, the output is going to produced by the multiplexer. So this device or circuit name is called as a multiplexer. So the other name for this multiplexer is data selector. Because of this selection line, the output is produced by this multiplexer. So here. Four can be determined with the help of two power n and is to one logic. So here two power n represents inputs, one represents output. So two power n inputs can be taken as a um, input for this multiplexer and one is the output for multiplexer. So here n is the number of selection lines. So two power n is to one. Here two power n is input, one is output. n represents selection lines so number of selection lines so for example if i want to make 2 is to 1 multiplexer i just represent 2 is to 1 mux so this can be determined with the help of 2 power n is to 1 now i am going to assign n value is equal to 1 now 2 power 1 is to 1 which makes 2 is to 1 so i can make 2 is to 1 multiplexer if i want to increase my n value now the n is replaced by 2 instead of 1 now 2 power 2 is to 1 so 4 is to 1 multiplexer can be de designed similarly if you increase n value is 3 2 power 3 is to 1 so 8 is to 1 mux can be designed so likewise depends on the number of selection line values the number of inputs which is taken by the multiplexer is uh, calculated and it will produce only one output at a time so the name of this multiplexer is named as many to one circuit that is many inputs and only one output so the other name of this multiplexer data selector it may be a 2 is to 1 multiplexer or 4 is to 1 multiplexer 8 is to 1 multiplexer etc simply we the can say the other name of the multiplexer is data selector So now I can design the four is to one multiplexer. So design of four is to one mux. So for this I can draw the logic symbol. So here I just take four is to one mux, and it will produce only one output. And I can uh, name as data output and represent that variable by y. And here. i have to take four input at the same time i have to take two selection lines for example s not s1 these two are my selection line so apart from this selection line uh, inputs these are and after that we have to take four inputs and these inputs are named as d not d1 d2 and d3 so this is a general block of uh, 4 is to 1 multiplexer and for this we can make a truth table so in this truth table so apart from this in uh, uh, 4 is to 1 mux or any multiplexer concept we have one more input which is called as a enable input so always we have to uh, make uh, high as this enable input then only depends on the selection line uh, input value the output can be produced by this multiplexer uh, so the enable input always uh, make it as a high so now the truth table it represent enable input and second we can take inputs and selection lines selection line inputs and finally outputs so this is our truth table so here i can take enable input value is equal to 1 that is high 
and here i can uh, take inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 these four are my inputs and selection lines are s0 and s1 and my output variable are uh, act as a y variable that is i assign y is my output variable so now the enable input value is high if the selection line value is equal to zero whatever input you are going to give in d not for example if i give d not value is equal to 1 it may be don't care for d1 d2 d3 that output will be the that is the what is the value which is present in d not that is the output for this multiplexer so zero will be the output similarly if i give 1 in d not here the d1 d2 d3 may be 0 or 1 it's not a matter your output will be 1 similarly i move to the second case if the selection line value is equal to 0 1 the second input value is equal to 0 or 1 remaining all inputs may be don't care and enable input is equal to 1 for this case our output is again 0 1 that is what input you are going to give in this d1 that is the output for y similarly for third case 1 0 is the selection line at the same time we can take d2 is 0 and 1 remaining inputs are don't care and enable input is equal to high 